Yeah. Morning. How much yeah. are these two here? Uh, a couple of quid for those. They're that top. Pound. Pound, yeah? Three quid. So three quid in total, yeah? Yeah, I'll take those, please. How much is a raster mouse? Pound. Pound. <laughs> yeah, I'll take him as well, please. Just one to come out then. Lovely. Thank you very much. How much are your uh, football boots here as well? They are five pounds. They're five pounds, yeah. Would you go three for them? Four. Four? Yeah, I'll meet you at four. Here we go, four pounds. Okay, thank thanks so much. much. Cheers. What do we have here? Hello. Just in time. Burberry. Oh, nice. Yeah, but I am all out of cash. Fair enough. I do. It's a squished bottle. Oh, I love that. Isn't it so cool? That's great. That's a really nice colour too. Yeah. It was only two pounds. Do you want to get a hot dog? Yeah, we can get a hot dog. Oh yeah, I'll All get right. this one please. Just the one? Just the one. Just one, two pounds. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Three pounds. That's great. Thank Thanks so much. Thank you. Cheers. How much did you say? A pound? Yeah. yeah. That's great. Thank That's you. Great. Cheers. So Cheers. Oh yeah. How much is their t-shirt? Fiver. Fiver. Yeah, I'll take that please. I thought you wouldn't be able to resist. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Five. Lovely Thank you job. very much. Thank you. Cheers. Nice. Good little ACG. Plenty of other branded stuff as well. Morning. How much is your jacket here? Three quid. Three quid, yeah? I'll take that one, please. And the rugby here as well? So the paint's some of five, uh, the paint's which you want, how many you want? Uh, let's see, let's see what I find in that box first, and I'll... Uh... Sorry? Oh, five pounds stuff yeah. in there. Okay, all right. You can find some of this bag, this one's on that, that okay. bag. All right, thank you. Yeah. Super cool. Diesel cargoes. Yeah. And the trousers. That's sick. Super cool. I knew her. Diesel vest. Yeah, it's decent. So there's for now. I've got one, two, hat, three, t shirt, and uh, the jacket there. Uh, those are bits I got elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so. Fifteen. Fifteen? This is what happens when you don't wear your shoes. <laughs> so it was 50p, yeah? Yeah, 50p. Have you got to change for a pound? I have. There you go, That's great, thanks Lovely. so much. Thank Cheers. You. There we go, a pound. Thank thanks you. so much. Thank Cheers. You. Lovely. Excuse me, how much are your shoes? Uh, 25. 25, yeah. It's fair price. Do you go for good money? Here we go. We got a load of 2000 stuff. It's all good. Yeah, we're taking a lot of this. Those are old school, aren't they? Jeez, they are so short. That's it. Smell of that. Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. How much are all your clothes here? One fifty. One fifty each. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Depending on how many I pick up, would you do a deal? Yeah, yeah? absolutely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. God. I'm going to run out of money here. Oh, look at that. That's super cool. It's got to come in as well. Oh, oh yeah, nearly missed that. They're reversible. I don't know. I think they might be. Oh, they are as well. Oh, they are sick. Yeah, super cool. I'm putting you out here, it looks like. <laughs> right, let's see. I need to actually check how much I've got first, because that is going to tell me. Well, yeah. Um, gee, oh, come on. I've got to have more than that. Everything in here? It's not everything, no, no but okay, it, uh, so I'll look. tell you when to stop. Yep. <laughs> I'll add it up what it would have been. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got 850. Okay. 750. Is that one of, one of mine? Yeah, that is. Okay. You can have that because I'm feeling Oh, good. thank you. <laughs> uh, that would be 8. I can't do it all for 850. No, I don't so expect mate. you to. That's fine. No, don't worry. Um, so I just pick out the, the bits that I really want and then uh, so it's, uh, uh, up to the jeans is everything that's yours. So do you mind if I pick through this lot and I'll decide out of this lot and you give me yeah, a price yeah. or whatever, yeah? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Because if not, you can have sort of the whole lot of 15. I've, I've genuinely got no, but that is everything I've got, yeah. Go for it. Um, I'll take those. The hat, not sold on. That's cool. Um, these shorts. Yeah, we'll take those shorts. Yeah. Uh, sorry, thank you. Right. <laughs> take those. That one. That one. And those are pretty cool. Okay, so there's that t-shirt there. Um, so I'll, I'll hand them to you. Uh, I'll add it up what it would have been. Okay. 4.50. Thank you. 6. Thank you. 7.50. Thank you. 9. Okay. And these are really cool. One. Oh, yeah, you yeah, sure? Is yeah. that a good deal for you? Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah thank you. Instead of ten fifty. Eight fifty. Cut the quid, and you can have the hat as well. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> My pleasure. That's so cool. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> that's really cool. Hi there. How much longer are you going to be here? Because I'm all out of cash, but I'm, I'm liking some of your stuff, so I'm wondering if I can... To the end of the day, yeah? How much are all your t-shirts? They're a pound each. They're a pound each, yeah? If I pick some out that I like, are you right to put them behind for me? I'm 100% coming back. Um, when are you going to come back? I, uh, as soon as I can find like a, a cash point. Oh, okay. Um, I can hold them for half an hour? Yeah, that's yeah? fine. Yeah, thank you.
are they all the pound on here or are they just the, the t-shirts okay the shirts are two, yeah and that's five five okay yeah there is yeah are they all yours or no, my dad's. your dad's yeah. how good taste yeah. <laughs> would you do 15 for the lot i've got um two. 10 t-shirts and then the shirt and the jacket Yeah, yeah. lovely, yeah. thank you. I'll be back, honestly, as soon as I can. Oh yeah, I probably should have asked this first. Would bank transfer or PayPal be easier? Yeah, that's fair enough. If you want to put your PayPal in there, and um, yeah. I was just thinking that to myself. I thought, yeah. well, how else can I pay? I thought everyone's got PayPal or, you know, bank balance or something. Yeah, it's just not something I've done before. No, that's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I realise it's a little bit impromptu, but that's great, thank you. Yeah, it's there. Brilliant, thank you so much. Alrighty, we are back. Um, as you can see, we had a super successful weekend. We've got a whole row of clothing and pretty much best part of the table's worth as well. All clothes apart from just one sleeping bag, so let's start off with that. And here is the sleeping bag. It is a Mamu Ayungalak Montana 3. I think I'm saying that right anyway. So basically, a Jungalak is a brand that used to make sleeping bags for the Norwegian army and then Mamu bought them out a good few years ago now. This one actually came out I think 2013, maybe 2014. Um, either way, I paid £8 for it. You can sleep down to, I think it's minus two with this comfortably and then down to sort of minus 18 I think is something I had a quick read of anyway. Basically, the lower the temperature, the more you can charge for a sleeping bag. Um, I think I had a quick look on eBay, this one here, or at least the sort of range that it's a part of. Is going from anywhere from about 50 pounds up to about 100 so i'm not quite sure i'm just going to probably charge 80 and take offers on it i haven't actually seen this yet because i couldn't be asked to get it actually out of the car boot so let's have a look okay so first impressions are actually pretty good there's no rips or anything just says mamu there and i think it's got the classic yeah mamu logo down on the bottom there as well um super nice vibrant green color i'm actually gonna get into this It's like a reverse caterpillar. Okay, so it turns out I'm an idiot. Of course, it's got a zip on the inside. So, yeah, there you go. That's, that's pretty snug, actually. That's not too bad. I think it's 195 centimeters tall, so easily big enough for me, and I'm 5'11". Um, so if you're 6'3", and below, if you want it, message me. And the only other bag this weekend was this really nice Billabong messenger bag. Um, looks leather, but it isn't. It's 100% PVC. But by the way it's wearing, you'd think it was, because most PVC just goes all horrible when it flakes off. This one, they've at least tried to make it look like real leather there. Um, quite a nice bag, to be honest. Big embroidered spell out. It was only 50p, should get maybe 20 to 25. All right, we've got a few hats now. Starting off with this really nice early 2000s O'Neill chocolate brown cap. Just a big embroidered spell out on the front there. Little logo just on the back there as well. I think that was a pound in a big bundle that I'll show you the rest of later. Should get maybe 15 to 18 on that just because of the colour alone. This one I actually got for free in another bundle. It is a really nice 90s Oakley one. Big embroidered spell out on that one and a little hit just on the back there again. Um, again, probably similar money, 15 to 18, maybe 20 even, which is, I feel bad because they gave it to me for free. Um, and then this one says Spurts. What does that say? Smirnoff, I live like a czar. Mm. Yeah, one for the Russian comrades out there. What do you think? Um, but yeah, this one should maybe, I don't even know what the price on this. A couple pairs of football boots now, starting off with these, they are a pair of 2008 Night Mercurials. Really hard to find these in good condition nowadays, and these ones are. There's no sort of separation on them anywhere. Um, just need a little bit of a clean on the sole there. And the only other problem is the fact that the metal and studs are slightly worn away. But other than that, they are perfectly usable. Size eight and a half, um, which is always really good because half sizes are really hard to find and they always conduct a little bit more money. So they were four pound, I think. Should get maybe 50 pound and upwards. And then we've got these ones, a lot more modern. Um, they're just a nice pair of simple Nike tempos, classic boot, can't go wrong really. They've got the anti-clog soles. They are a UK size 10, probably get about 35 on these, maybe 40, and they were just two pounds. Okay, up next, we've just got a few pairs of shorts. Um, these were all part of a bundle for eight pound 50. I'll show you the rest of the bundle as we get on. But these ones here, a really nice pair of two-tone night shorts. These are just on the classic early 2000s grey tag there. 
These ones should be about 15 to 18. I'll just stow them away for next summer. They've got a pair of nice classic black ones with a little swoosh again, about 15 to 18 pound. And then these, just stupidly short. I'm not gonna be trying these on, same as a sleeping bag. But they're really cool, just got a really nice big swoosh. Then we've just got a couple of pairs of Dickies. These ones here are actually brand new with tags that have never been used. They were, I think, two pounds. And then these ones here, which have been used, um, just your classic carpenter style. You sell every day for about 15 pound on Depop. The new ones probably get about 20 quid for. I think they're three quid for the pair, always worth picking up. Next up, I picked up these lovely Levi's 511s for just a pound. They're in a really nice sort of blue gray color, 36, 34, which is a good size for eBay because it's quite hard to get. I reckon just purely because of that alone, I might get maybe 30 to 35 on those. Up next, we've got a super cool pair of early 2000s diesel cargos, just in a lovely olive green color. I mean, look at all the pockets. I don't think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, there's about 12 pockets on these things. Um, they're just amazing. I don't think they'll take any time to sell at all. They're in a bundle for 15 pounds. I reckon these ones alone probably go for about 80 to 100 just because it's the style that everyone's looking for at the moment. And they are diesel obviously as well. Really well made. Uh, yeah, they're just super cool. They're actually my size, but I don't think I could pull these off. They are a 34 regular. Just got a little diesel logo just on the back pocket there, if you can make that out. Um, but yeah, they are super cool. All right, moving on to tees. And what better way to start than with this amazing m and from the year 2003 as part of his anger management tour. Where'd you go in the UK? You went to Roundabout City, Milton Keynes of all places, but just an amazing back graphic on that. Super cool one on the front there as well. It is date stamped 2003, if you see down there. Uh, Ricky Resales found one of these, well, not this one, an earlier one from 2000. I'll put a picture of it around there. Um, super cool, that one's worth a lot more than this. I think his is worth about 250. This one, maybe get around 80 to 100 pound for, be really happy with that. But again, for a five pound, I'm not complaining at all. Picked up the next few bits with the shorts that you saw earlier. Um, starting off with this lovely early 2000s Nike spill out vest. Really nice embroidered one with a little logo just on the back there, as you can see. It's a nice grey tag one. If this was a couple of years ago, that would probably have been worth around 50 to 60 pounds on Depop. As it is nowadays, you're looking at about 25 to 30, which is still really good for a vest, but if it was a couple of years ago, that would have been amazing. Next one is another vest. Um, really nice little center swoosh one this time. But the good thing is, this one is in fact reversible. Really nice little night crest on that one there. Um, again, this one's probably worth maybe 18 to 20 pound in summer. I'm just gonna tuck that away till next year. Another really good Nike tee here. This one is another early 2000s one. Just a super cool Nike T91 front and back. Look at that graphic, that is awesome. Um, it is a kid size XL, fits like a men's small medium. Probably get around 18 to 20 pound on that one again. And the last tee that we picked up as part of that bundle is this really nice 2000s embroidered spell out Umbro one. Just a really cool t-shirt, nice breathable material. Again, maybe get 15 to 18 on that. All right, another bundle now. And um, there's about 10 t-shirts in total and a couple other bits I'll show you later on. Starting off with this amazing one for Robin Ventura. He was a White Sox player. Just a super cool t-shirt, nice baggy size. It's an XL. All of these came to 15 pounds. This one here alone should easily pay for the lot. You'll probably get around 20, 25 on that one. Really good 90s night tee now. Um, just a basic black one, but it is on the old white tag that you don't see too much of in the UK. Just a nice one, little swoosh on the front. So that should be about 18 to 20 pounds. All right, this next one I'm probably gonna keep for myself because I just live in long sleeves over autumn and winter. This one is a really nice Levi's long sleeve. Just got a little print logo on the front there. Um, nothing too special, but I'm just gonna chuck it on and wear it around the house everyday use. It's probably my favorite tee from the bundle. Just got this really nice early 2000s Weirfish tee with a huge back graphic on there. Weirfish always does some super cool funky graphics. Just says Weirfish six pack with a load of graphics there. Um, but it's got really nice sort of overall blue fade on it. I always think Weirfish cotton fades really nicely over time. I don't know what it is about it, but it seems to. Um, size double XL, nice and baggy. Probably gonna keep this one for myself, but if I were to sell it, maybe get 20 to 25 pound on that. This so next one, I'll probably pay for everything that we picked up today. Just a really nice 1995 X-Files tee. Um, just a big front graphic, nothing on the back there. On the old JTS tag is date stamped 1995. Don't know if you can make that out there. Um, but yeah, just a really cool t-shirt really. Size XL, um, maybe get 60 to 80 pound on this one. Probably sell back over in the States, but it's just a super cool t-shirt really. Honestly, so many good tees in this bundle. This one is super cool as well. Lovely 90s Elise spell out tee, all embroidered, which is super cool. 
it says it's a size XL, probably fits more like a double or even treble XL. It is super oversized. Um, but yeah, it's just a super nice t-shirt. Maybe get 20, maybe even more for that one. These next ones, I don't really think mean too much, but I just thought they're pretty cool, so I'll pick them up. This one's really nice. It's an old Instinct t-shirt with a really cool back print there. I don't know what instinct.com is. If you do, maybe drop it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, just a nice t-shirt. Maybe get 15 to 18 pound on that one. This next one's just a really nice cotton, just a good piece of sort of surf skate wear. It always does well at the moment. Again, get about 15 to 18, just says boys from the blue. And it's got sort of hammerhead shark triangle circling thing. I don't know, whatever you want to call that. I've got a cool piece from the year 2000. It says it's a millennium tour anyway. Um, it just says the rock and roll geezers. I don't know who they are, uh, but it's just printed on an old screen stars tag there. Just a cool front and back graphic, really. You can read that one for yourself. I'm not going to say it, uh, but yeah, just a cool t-shirt. I don't know, maybe get 15 to 18. I said that so much. And then the last tee from that bundle is just this really nice tourist tee for a rum bar. Just a good graphic tee, really. Nice, heavy quality cotton and graphic tees always do well. All right, this is another brand that sort of died with the times. Can you get any more early 2000s than Drunken Monkey? And this sort of up there with like Paul Frank and all those random brands from the early 2000s. You just don't see anymore. Uh, this one is a really nice chocolate brown t-shirt. Big embroidered spell out on the front there and a cool graphic that's sort of peeling away. Um, but yeah, just a nice tee. It's dated, it's actually date stamped 2004, which is quite weird for one of these. Um, but yeah, just a really nice color. Good, heavy quality cotton. I think I paid one pound for that. Might get 12 to 15 on that. Just the one polo I picked up today is a good piece of designer. It's a lovely tangerine orange Burberry's polo. Uh, Burberry's, I think it is 90s one probably, judging by that tag there. Just a really nice little embroidered crest there on the front. Um, two pound paid, should get maybe 20 to 25 pound on that one. A couple super cool bits of knitwear I picked up this weekend. Both of them are sweater vests, starting off with this lovely early 2000s diesel one, just on that black tag there. Very Christmassy, picked it up as part of that £15 bundle. Um, yeah, I'm not really too sure what to get on this, 100% wool. Probably looking at more 35 to 40 probably, as it is diesel. Also, a really good tip that you guys might not know, I just realised that I've pretty much done it subconsciously. If you are going to hang knitwear, it's best to hang it on one of these hangers like this, the ones with the ribbed edges. It just stops knitwear sagging too much and stretching, because when it stretches, it's hard to regain the shape. It's best that you probably fold it anyway, but if you are going to hang it, do it on one of these hangers. And then the other vest that we picked up is this really nice 90s Land Zone one, Argyle style, lovely pattern on that. Um, that should fly out like super quickly. Land's End makes really, really high quality stuff. I don't know why people always leave it, but it's always super well made. Um, this one is a women's medium, probably get around 30 to 35, just because of the pattern on that. And I think I paid one pound on that one. Next up, we've got another lovely autumn staple just your classic Tommy Hilfiger rugby shirt. This one is a good size. It's size medium, but fits probably more like a large. Um, yeah, just a really nice little flag on the front there. You're gonna get maybe 25 to 35 every day on one of these. All right, this next one's going straight into my personal wardrobe. There's no doubt about it. Just a really, really nice heavy cotton 90s white Tommy Hilfiger shirt with the lovely fold over pockets. I don't like the ones where you can see the buttons on here and that pins them down. But yeah, these ones in this style are super nice. Just got the old fashioned Tommy Hilfiger Crest logo just there. Super nice, size XL, good oversized fit. Yeah, 100% keeping this. And finally, we've got the last item from that big bundle. Lovely 90s Marvel Classics Harrington jacket. Just a really nice wheat colorway, perfect for autumn and winter as we're going into it now. By the way, this guy just had like amazing style. Some of the stuff he's had is crazy. Uh, but this one here, it's just got a really nice striped interior on the inside. You're looking at about 40 to 60 pound for one of these jackets here. All right, next up, we've got a really nice 90s Nike ACG jacket. This one just has a little hit on the arm there. It's really hard to find these. There's not too many of these original 90s ones about. Um, just a really cool piece. Little embroidered swoosh just on the back there. You're looking at about maybe 40 to 60 pound on this one as it is. So a couple of little nicks in the fabric here and there, as you can see. If I could maybe sew those up, you're looking at about 80 to 100 pounds. Size extra small, fits more like a small. Um, but yeah, that was part of the big 15 pound diesel bundle. And the last item is a classic. It is a lovely dark black, well, sort of almost brownie kind of color. Polo Ralph Lauren Harrington jacket. We had a little embroidered Ralphie logo just on the front there. Lovely contrast beige brim underneath. 
Um, it's got a lovely beige and black check lining on the inside there. Size XXL, so probably a really good eBay size. You're looking at about 50 to 60 pound on that one, I reckon I can get. I did pay up a little bit, it was 10 pound, but I think that's worth it for a jacket like this. It's gonna sell super quickly in this season. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys if you have made it to the end. I know it's probably been a bit of a long one, but if you could like and subscribe, that'd be really appreciated. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.